Hello, 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 y'all. We're doing a little car chit chat today. Um, I missed yesterday, so let me apologize. Um, I'm late for Vlogtober, so today will be like a double catch up, but I'm also giving you two videos today, so it's gonna kinda even itself out. I'm trying to get you situated here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yesterday, this weekend, y'all, has been insane. I knew it was gonna be hard to do all of my Vlogtober. Friday was phone Armageddon trying to get switched over, and we're gonna talk about that in just a second. But um, that happened on Friday. Saturday, and, and Friday night, by the way, I was in yoga. Saturday, I was there all the live long day. And Sunday, I was there all the live long day. So I knew it was gonna be really tough to get my vlogs out. But I'm determined to finish this Vlogtober strong. So I'm sorry that I am one day late, but I promise you it will not happen again. I am back to the land of the living. It's Monday. I'm still exhausted from yoga training. I'm super sore from yoga training. We had this phenomenal, tiny, crazy, amazing yoga instructor. Her name is Jonna. I'm not sure of her last name, but she is just a fantastic yogi. I mean, she is certified by the big wigs in India, if that tells you anything. So she was with us this weekend. Obviously I had Nate, Ashley and Auburn. They were with us as always. It was just another, this training has been so good for me. This training has been so good for my body, for my brain, specifically for my brain, that I would highly recommend it to anyone. Even if you're not super interested in ever becoming a yoga instructor, let's just say that you wanted to deepen your knowledge of yoga. I, I would highly recommend it. It's, given me so many like good ideas of clarity and the reason why we do things and how we should do things and just how to be a better human. I mean, I keep going back to that like sentence, how to be a better human. I feel like this training has really tried to teach me that and it's just, it's just been incredible. And I think the more that we can fill our brains with that kind of stuff, the more it will become reality. So anyway, not to get on too much of a tangent when it comes to the yoga world, but just know that I'm absolutely loving it. And it was a very cool experience. So I'm in the 200 hour certification and the 200 hour is for folks who have never taught yoga before. So this is the base certification, um, the, you know, the, the original, the, the one that we'll always start off with. It's very intense. It's very much uh, kinesiology, anatomy driven, brain driven, yoga driven. I mean, it's a lot. But at the same time this weekend, they started their three, a, a different training, uh, a 300 hour training for folks who already have their 200 hour that want to deepen their knowledge of yoga and just go a little bit beyond what they have already done. And so it was really interesting to be with the 300 hour folks for those classes because a lot of them I'm super close with from Vita. And it was just a good weekend. I mean, it was really long and really hard, just like they all are. But it was, when you're doing something you're passionate about, it doesn't seem like work. Like I always feel like that. And so for me, it's something that I really super love. So it's not ever gonna feel bad. So it was just, it was just a feel good weekend and I loved every minute of it. I am happy to be back to reality. I am two weeks away, I believe, which is terrifying to talk about two weeks away from the marathon. It is October 17th and the marathon is November the 6th. So in a couple weeks, we will be leaving to go to New York for that marathon. And when I leave for New York, I will be with my friends who are going with me. We will be there, I believe, together for four nights, and then I'm staying for either three or four nights by myself after the marathon. I can't remember how many days I'm staying. I wanna say it's four nights, but we'll see. And I'm just excited. It's a crazy time right now. I mean, between yoga training and marathon training and New York trips and the holidays are coming up, it's and real estate, doesn't even mention real estate, that it, it's just been crazy. It's, it's been a crazy time, but it's been a great time. I'm in, a, I'm in the, one of the best mental head spaces I've been in recent memory, and I'm super thankful for that. I was kind of going through a funk with real estate, and incorporating yoga has been great for me to fill that time in my brain and my soul. And so, honey, I'm just vibing. 
I'm just vibing. What else was I gonna tell y'all? Oh, so back to yoga for a second. So one of the prerequisites, I've had too much coffee. Can you tell? One of the prerequisites for the yoga training is that when we get done, we do our, what's called our community class. And so our community class is open to anyone. It's free um, and we, we, we raise money for a charity of our choice. And it's our very first class, so to speak. So y'all, even though I have taught group exercise for 15 years, it makes me a nervous wreck to think about teaching yoga solo by myself. But I went ahead and scheduled it and I actually scheduled one of the very first ones because I'm that type of person where I'm just ready to do it. I wanted to do it before the marathon, before I left for New York to just get it out of the way. So my very first hot yoga class that I will be teaching is uh, Tuesday, November the 1st at 4.45. I'm thrilled. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm scared, I'm, all the emotions are, are running through my brain, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just ready. I'm ready to do it, I'm ready to, uh, it's one of those things where the first one's never going to be perfect, you know what I mean? Like, there are going to be so many kinks that I've got to get out of my system, but I'm excited to get that one done and be like, I'll never have to do my very first one ever again. Does that make sense? Like, I'm just ready to do it call it what it is and then uh, onwards and upwards right so I'm thrilled and any of you local people are welcome to come message me for more information and I will I will tell you all about it but I'm, I'm super excited and I know that a lot of you would love to come if you you know if you live near me and that's precious to me I, I just know already that you're gonna be like oh I wish I could come and I wish y'all could come too but just the fact that you would want to come out and support me uh, means the world to me seriously so just know that I already feel that love before you've even given it to me okay so now I've got the crumble cookies in the back and obviously we're doing the cookie video tonight so we'll review those Here's something else that's exciting. So remember Lauren who did the cookie video with me when Mackenzie was gone? She and I are going to start a weekly podcast and you will have the ability to listen to it on Spotify or uh, Apple Music or wherever you listen to your podcast. You can, you can find us there. I will also be videoing every single one of our podcasts so that and, and uploading it to this channel so that you can see it there as well. So that's super exciting. So if you're ever like out on a walk and you want to listen to me ramble on for an hour, honey, feel free. So uh, I will also be posting, like when I post, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give you all the information about it. We haven't come up with a name. We haven't really uh, dialed in on what we want to do specific to our content. I want it to kind of be like Seinfeld where we're just talking about daily things that we all have experience with that we can bring a little bit of humor into. So I don't want to give too much away, but I'm excited about that. We're going to film the very first one tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, and hopefully get that out by uh, either late Tuesday evening or Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that. Again, it will not be its own channel. Uh, I will be uploading those directly to the Tyler Ramey channel. So I'm excited about that. Ah! Lots of exciting things happening. I can't wait. And uh, so yeah, I wanted to keep this short and sweet because like I said, you're going to get a cookie video today too, but I owe you an extra one. I owe you an extra video because I did not vlog yesterday and I'm sorry for that. This is my makeup for Vlogtober and I hope you forgive me, but y'all know I love you. Um, so it is, I'm sure you've been able to see in the window as I've been driving, but it is peak fall colors here in East Tennessee and I cannot get enough. I literally can't get enough. And the thought of going to New York and running the marathon in the fall makes me want to. Oh, I'm so excited. And the fact that I get to wear outfits like this, oh gosh, it makes me so happy. I've got on my stretchy jeans and my cute toms and my vest. I'm just, I'm vibing. I'm vibing right now. I'm living my best life and that's just the end of it, honey. That's just the end of it. So, I'm going to wrap this up. 
I hope y'all are having a fantastic week. I really, truly mean that. And I hope that you will, I'm gonna leave you with this, and I'm not getting too cheesy and I'm not getting too yoga, but one of the quotes that our main yoga instructor said to us yesterday uh, that really stuck with me, we always hear, what do we always hear? Practice makes what? Perfect, right? Practice makes perfect. Well, I don't know about y'all, but Tyler Ramey ain't perfect, and I ain't never gonna be perfect. We are all a work in progress. All of us, always, until the day we leave this earth, we can always do better. And so, instead of practice makes perfect, she said, practice makes progress. Practice makes progress. Remember that. As you take on this week, as you take on your life, uh, we are not striving for perfection, but we are striving to do better on a daily basis, and I mean that. And I'm, I'm really trying to take this stuff and put it into practice. So I'm going to leave you with that. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video, which just happens to be the crumble review. So if you want to see what's in that backseat, you got to stay tuned. Love y'all. Bye.